What's up guys? Uh, today we are going to be doing a quick review and kind of my, my impressions. I've had this Alienware Aurora R6 for about six months now. Um, today I'm going to give you kind of my thoughts on it. So the specs on this Alienware Aurora R6, the GPU is a GTX 1080, uh, the CPU is an i7-7700, uh, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of storage. So today it's paired with two monitors. Um, one is the Dell um, S24 16DG, I believe it's their, their 27 inch 144 hertz uh, 1440p monitor. And it's also got just kind of a real standard cheap uh, 1080p monitor as well. So we're going to kind of look at its performance, we're going to look at kind of the features, the lighting, all kinds of stuff. Um, Alright, let's get started. Alright, so this is the front view of the PC here. Looks like it has four USB. Now these colors, they're all customizable. Um, I think it's uh, RGB customization. I'm going to show you that in a little bit too. So overall I think the look, I mean I really like the case. Um, I think it looks good. You know when I was first looking around for a PC, kind of one of the things I thought I wanted was a clear case so you can kind of show off the specs. Um, but I'm actually really pleased with this case. I like how you can kind of customize the colors. Um, as you can see, to help with the the airflow and the ventilation, it actually has this little part off the ground here on the bottom. So it's not just kind of sitting on the ground. Um, and up here, this is where the air flows out uh, from the PC, kind of up at the top. Alienware also has its own software, uh, the Alienware Control Center. Um, as you can see here, kind of my temperatures right now, just resting, nothing's going on got the two monitors connected. The CPU sensor's at 29 degrees Celsius. The ambient sensor's at 36 degrees Celsius. The GPU's temperature, it's at 40 degrees Celsius right now. That's really cool, but of course we're not playing any games. Um, and the GP GPU fan is um, at 27%. Now there's some cool things here with the thermal control. You can actually set it to where when the PC starts getting you know, pretty hot inside, you can increase the fan speed. What I've found so far is even when my GPU is getting warm or my CPU gets a little bit warm, I can turn that fan on full blast. It'll make quite a bit of noise and I don't really see much of a change in the temperatures. So what I do is I just leave it at auto. The temperatures aren't, any, aren't that alarming so far um, when I'm playing games, but we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, so let's also talk about, so that was kind of the thermal controls. Um, there's also this alien... Um, FX. Now this is where you're going to be able to change the colors of your PC like that lighting on the side. Um, one thing that you can't do that I think would be cool like if you look at this keyboard that I have um, it has a lot of effects that it can do. Um, so the lighting on this PC it's just um, solid coloring. So right now I have what colors are those? I'm, I'm colorblind. Purple. Purple, pink, pink and is that? It's like fuchsia. Fuchsia, okay. Um, but let's go with, and I think this is green. I'm a little colorblind, but we're going to go with this color here. Um, we're going to go with, I don't know, let's just go and then blue for the third one. Is that? Yeah, so this is basically what you see here. So now let's uh, scroll over to the PC. It's kind of changed the colors. And on the back side, you obviously have that, that blue color. So that's just a little example of the different color changes you can make. So we're going to go back to, I actually kind of like the, the light blue, or we'll do that. And we'll do a red uh, alien face. So why don't we take, so that's kind of, I like that one. We'll keep it there. There's also alien fusion and alien adrenaline um, as you know, supporting software. Here we have Overwatch on Epic, which is actually, that's the most it goes in graphics. This is above Ultra. 
we're getting, I don't know, around 70 frames per second. The temperature is similar to PUBG, 82 degrees Celsius. Uh, CPU sensors at 46 degrees Celsius, ambient sensor 80 or excuse me 58 degrees Celsius, and the GPU fan is at 54 degrees. This is League of Legends. Right now we're at 220. 6, 230 or so frames per second. But this one's fluctuating, so now it's at 175. Obviously, you can't see any of that on a 144 hertz monitor, but still pretty impressive. Temperatures. As far as the temperatures, we have CPU sensor at 43 degrees, ambient sensor at 63 degrees, GPU sensor at 68 Celsius, and the GPU fans at 44%. Right now, we're getting about 145 frames per second. Dude, why'd you steal that? Here we have Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This game is actually still early access, and this is even the test server for it. And we're getting around 55 frames per second. This game really eats up the PC's GPU. The game starts with 100 players. It's a large map. The temperatures, the GPU sensors at 82 Celsius, CPUs at 49 Celsius, Ambient sensors at 61 and G. Overall, I think Alienware did a good job with it. This has been able to handle pretty much any game I've thrown at it, and it should with the GTX 1080 in it. There also hasn't been any real issues. When I first got the PC out of the box, it did blue screen a couple times, um, but I found out that was just because I had an outdated BIOS. One of the main reasons that I got this PC is because I was looking for something that would come with some customer support for at least a year. Um, I was looking for something that was pretty cheap. I wanted a good deal. Um, and I wanted something that could handle pretty much any game that you could throw at it. And so far, this Alienware Aurora R6 has handled all that. I really only have good things to say about this PC. And if you can find it for a really good deal, then I would say go ahead and get it yourself. I would suggest checking sites like slickdeals.net. That's where I found out about this specific deal. Um, if you really do monitor those deal sites, then you'll be able to actually find pre-built systems cheaper than you would if you were going to customize and build it out yourself. So overall, I hope you liked the review. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like this video, and if you have any questions about the PC, please comment and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, thanks guys.